So your car doom scrolling again, wondering why things are so expensive. Will I ever be able to afford project car? Hell, even a first car? I was stuck in this cycle, never finding the courage to be able to pull the trigger and spend the money. That is, until I found this. A 2004 Saab 95 Arc for under $3,000? I bought this thing on the spot, but of course, it wasn't perfect. So you get the car. You plug in your OBD2 reader. P1110. Charge air bypass valve performance issues. But what does this mean? Let's pop the hood and talk about it. Once you understand how this works on the Saab, it will apply to most forced induction applications, as long as it's in the stock form. So, what is this bypass valve? To keep things short, on a turbocharged vehicle, when you press on the accelerator pedal, you build up positive pressure um, in your intake track, right, right here. Upon releasing the pedal, that pressure remains and needs to be vented as so the pressure does not cause turbulence and stuttering upon reapplying the throttle. Here's the valve on the Saab. If you have a different turbocharged vehicle, find your intake piping or the turbo and take a look around. Here you can see that once the throttle plate is closed, that positive pressure remains, but the other side of the throttle plate becomes a vacuum. So now there's a reference tube or line here that's going to a solenoid that connects to a valve. Basically what happens is when the computer senses this vacuum, it opens up this valve that allows this pressurized air to vent back as to not cause turbulence and hesitation and stumbling upon reapplying the throttle. So what was wrong with my sob? Well, dry rot. It's, it's a simple answer. But all these vacuum lines and the valve and solenoid used, um, sorry, let me, let me, let me redo this. It's a simple answer, but all the vacuum lines that the valve and solenoids used were dry rotted. One was even in half. A simple stop at the auto store, some replacement vacuum lines and zip ties later, this sob is running as good as new. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. In the next episode, We'll cover what happens when the Saab started misfiring because I decided to take it to Redline. <laughs> yeah. But see you all there. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and if you want to stay tuned for future episodes, please subscribe. It helps so much. Love y'all. See you in the next episode.